What happens when you try to cram exploring three countries into just nine days? You get an action-packed, exhausting, but worth every stinking second, 11-day itinerary of England, Wales, and Ireland. This is my co-host Aruba and in this video I'm going to share that itinerary with you so that you can use it as a starting point for planning your own trip. And before we get started go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below and the thumbs up button if you love travel content and go ahead and tell me in the comments down below which of these three countries you would be most interested in visiting, England, Wales, or Ireland. Quick disclaimer, do I really recommend cramming three countries into nine days? Not really. <laughs> My ideal itinerary would have had us spending at least a week in each destination, honestly up to a month in order to really explore them like locals. However, we didn't have that freedom. That's how I used to travel and I really miss it, but when you work full time and when you have limited vacation time to work with, you do what you can with what you have. Uh, we had so many destinations that we wanted to see and we were balancing multiple work schedules and a school schedule and a soccer schedule and unfortunately we ended up doing some cramming. So that's how our 11 day itinerary came to be. We made a few small mistakes in our planning but overall we actually stuck to this itinerary very, very well. We didn't encounter any major issues that put us off schedule and somehow even with all of the different connections and all the different forms of transportation that we took, we ended up keeping our luggage with us and safe the entire time. I'll be sharing videos from most of these itinerary stops over the next few weeks on this channel as well as some tips for navigating those places but for now here's an introduction to our trip with a look at our itinerary. So we just boarded a flight to London. We are heading right now from LAX to London Heathrow and we are going to be gone for about 12 days and we are going to hit England, Wales, and Ireland. in London after a very, very, very long day of travel. I very think long. we were traveling for something like 20 hours total and then when we got to London, it was only about 1 p.m. So we killed a little bit of time yesterday. We went and saw the Tower of London. We went and ate at a good British pub um, and then we crashed and we went to sleep. So this morning we have just arrived in the Cotswold district and we are actually at Burton of the Water, which, Burton on the Water, which I think they say is yeah. sort of the Venice of the Cotswold. Let me just say how glad I am that we are walking and not driving. <laughs> um, so if you're going to rent a car in Europe, especially in the United Kingdom where they drive on the left side, make sure it's an automatic and get the extra insurance, and we'll just leave it at that. Decided to get a traditional afternoon tea. So we have tea and what? A what scone with scone. clotted cream. And I got a chocolate cake because I wanted something a little more sweet and fudgy. Is that right? <laughs> So after a short, stressful drive uh, in European roads, <laughs> we uh, made it to our Airbnb, which is a cottage on the countryside, um, after we spent the afternoon in Burton on the Water, is the name of it, mm -hmm. which is the Venice of uh, England. So We need to venture out soon and try to find a pub for dinner. Definitely find a pub. Cozy. 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 Cozy.
was, you know, where she was. Like, and uh, I went with the, the local logger, which is me and Tim, which is right down the street, two miles away, and it is amazing. Um, I don't know if you can see, but uh, Tammy got the wine. Um, and if you've seen any of our past videos, you know you know that battle. Um, however, because we're in England and we're in a pub, I got a beer, and it's amazing. Uh, can you get some <laughs> Yesterday marked the end of our time in the United Kingdom. We took a ferry from Fishguard over to Rosslare, then we picked up a rental car and drove down to Cork County. So we are now in Ireland. The driving here in Ireland, it's a lot easier than in the United Kingdom. The streets seem to be a little bit bigger um, and it seems to be a little bit easier to get around. So driving isn't as bad um, here in Ireland. It's still on the left-hand side of the road and they still have a ton of roundabouts, but uh, seems pretty easy to get around so far which is good because we're going to be doing a lot of getting around today. We're actually heading down to Kinsale, which is sort of a, it's a port town um, on the edge, the southern edge of Ireland. And then I think we're heading up north today. We're not quite sure where. We're leaving it uncharted. We just stopped here, grabbed a quick lunch, and now we are moving on. I'm pretty sure we are about to road trip up the western coast of the island. An adventure. I got up there, I found out that the shirt I'm wearing is not really conducive to kissing the Blarney Stone. So you need to be able to easily lift both arms above your head and right now I don't have that kind of mobility without showing a little more than I would like to to everybody else on the top of the castle. Okay, so we just finished up uh, the Blarney Castle and uh, it took about a two hour drive, a little less maybe. Um, decided to go through the country and check out the Irish unscheduled day of our trip. In fact, it was the only unscheduled day of our trip. Every other place or every other hotel we stayed in, we booked ahead of time before we left the US and we decided to just wing it for this one. So the last you saw us, we were heading, we were on a ferry heading from County Kerry up to County Clare. We are now in County Clare in a town called Kilkee. It's a great little town, seaside village. Um, not very many buildings, but uh, it's definitely extremely nice as you can see from the pictures in the background. Um, our hotel is uh, right here on the uh, water, so we have a pub, we have a restaurant, we have everything we need right here, and then not to mention there's a street full of pubs that we're going to walk down a little bit later um, and check that out. But uh, also, you can't see in the background, but uh, we saw some whales earlier, so um, just amazing. here on the edge of the cliffs and it is so beautiful here. 
I'm looking around, I'm trying to stay far away from the edge because I'm not a huge fan of heights. So I'm trying to stay away from the edge and on the footpath, but this is so pretty. We just arrived at our hotel here in Bali Vaughan. We spent the day out exploring the cliffs and we had an amazing time. We were probably there, we were there way longer than we thought we were gonna be, probably three hours. Yeah, I would say at least. Yeah, just walking around and taking in the views, it's been absolutely incredible. Now we are staying at the Waters Country House and it's also absolutely beautiful. Yeah, it's pretty much, you know, something out of a postcard. You can see in the background, this is Setna Valley and then, uh, about, what do you say, a three minute drive, um, puts you right at the sea. And I'll just quickly just give everybody a quick shot of what it looks. <laughs> and there's the actual hotel behind us. So it's a stone structure and very nice. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> around Galway. This is the Latin Quarter and we are trying to find a good place to sit down and have some coffee. This is one of our first days of real Irish weather. It's been so sunny and nice while we've been here and this is our first day of it being actually chilly and slightly rainy and we are loving it. right now and this is basically the conclusion of our United Kingdom and Ireland trip so we were gone for 11 days uh, we saw three different countries England Wales and Ireland and we had the most amazing time we are now headed back to Phoenix where it is a hundred and eight degrees outside right now Fahrenheit uh, so yeah that hurts a little bit <laughs> we couldn't have asked for a better trip we had an incredible time I would say probably the highlights were the cliffs in Ireland also probably Tintern Abbey in Wales. That was so beautiful and we just had the best day. So heading back home, back to reality, not excited about it, but I promise I'll be sharing a ton of tips, pictures, all kinds of stuff yeah, with you guys from this trip. So we'll see you soon. That concludes our 11 day England, Wales and Ireland itinerary. Is this an itinerary that you would ever want to tackle? Let me know. I'll leave a poll over here. The answers will be yes or no. You're absolutely crazy because to be honest, we were a little bit crazy for tackling this. It was an insane trip, but so much fun. So either answer is perfectly acceptable. I want to leave a disclaimer for people who are going to come at me in the comments because I know it's going to happen. This is by no means an exhaustive list of all of the things to do in each of these three countries. Um, we created this itinerary because our family set a list of places and sites that we really wanted to see. And then we started narrowing it down based on where we could actually get to and how quickly we could get to those places. Um, so for us, it was our personal list of things that we would like to see. Um, but it is by no means the only amazing things that there are to do in each of these three countries. So if you're planning your own itinerary, I really encourage you to do your own research, um, make your own list of sites that you think would be really interesting to see, and then go from there. 
Planning an itinerary like this can actually be really complicated. There's a lot of details involved and a lot of things that you want to make sure that you don't miss. So I'm offering you guys my itinerary planning checklist and template. It's completely free to you, no cost at all, but you can download it from the link in the description box down below and hopefully it'll help you in planning your next adventure. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel and go ahead and give it a thumbs up down below to like it. That really does help me out a lot. And stay tuned for more videos from the destinations on this itinerary. Until next time, I'll be seeing you guys all around the world.